Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, it'll be much appreciated if you subscribe. It is free to subscribe and all it does is it gives you a bit of a notification anytime I bring a new video out. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing holes 12, 13 and 14 here at my home course, North Manchester Golf Club. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be showing you through my whole bag, which uh, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> and also giving you some ideas of how I'm preparing for the 2020 season uh, as an amateur golfer. And an amateur golfer that's really wanting to strive into getting back to single figures. So luckily the first club out of the bag is what I'm going to be using in this hole. So guys, we have the Ping G410 Plus, which is a... 10.5 driver uh, as a regular shaft uh, alter shaft um, and yeah good driver I have it set into draw uh, because I'm natural fader I want to try and bring my ball back in as much as I can um, and it's a beautiful club as you can see as you've seen already but anyway let's uh, give it a give it a hit So yeah, the Ping G410 driver, 10.5 uh, degree, like I said. And on this hole, like I said, I normally fade it a little bit more than that, but I have changed the setting to draw recently, because um, you can do draw, neutral, or fade. And I've set it to draw recently, and it's kind of brought my ball in a lot more. Um, I've been quite consistent with my driver, actually, over the last maybe six months. Um, if I'm going off the fairway, I'm only just going off it. So I've been doing okay to be fair. So guys, I'm on the next hole here at North Manchester Golf Club, hole 13. Stroke index four, 369 yards off the white. Uh, luckily I just parred that last hole. Um, I didn't bird, I nearly birded it, but um, that's why I didn't film it, because I didn't bird it. <laughs> um, that's it, that's YouTube for you. But yeah, I, on this hole I use a five wood. Now the five wood that I've got is, again, it's a Ping G410. It is a 17.5 degree. It's got a regular outer shaft. And what I normally do on this hole, and what I normally do on a lot of holes really, is just tee it up very, very minute, uh, just so it's above the ground, and hopefully I can skim it right down the middle. So let's see what I can do. So guys, my next club in the bag is something that I probably wouldn't use in this situation, but I just want to show you in in order really of, of obviously woods, two irons, to my putter. Um, so yeah, the next one in my bag is the Ping G, and it's a four hybrid. Now, I've got a four hybrid because I, my irons actually start from five upwards. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got a four hybrid, a 22 degree uh, hybrid of course, um, and I hit it so sweet, and that's why I've not really changed it for the latest model. Uh, just because if it, if it works, what's the point in changing? And also as well, as you've probably seen, it has a cool head cover. Old Del Boy. Uh, people ask me where to get this from. I actually made it myself. Um, this is actually a toy. And uh, I actually converted an old, well, actually this old head cover into a Del Boy head cover. So, um, yeah, so I don't know if you can get these about to be fair, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, people comment it all the time. In fact, it did actually have a voice activator in it as well. Uh, but every time I put my club back in the bag, it was going off saying, you know, this time next year we'll be millionaires or uh, whatever anyway. But yeah, uh, anyway, that's where I got my head cover from, made it myself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take probably half a swing, three quarter of a swing at this one. Um, I've got about 160 yards in. In fact, just give me a second. I might as well show you something else that I've got in the bag. So I've got a rangefinder, of course. A lot of, people, a lot of golfers have rangefinders. Um, I think they're a bit better than watches, to be fair. First of all, they're not really not irritating, and also, uh, well, they irritate me, sorry, but also as well, is do you actually need a range finder on the tee? Not really, not unless obviously on a, uh, a par three, but you can you can zap it with this anyway on a par three. So uh, once obviously you get into the middle of the fairway or you get in the fairway, then you need a range finder to obviously approach into the hole. I use a Bushnell uh, hybrid, and the good thing about this is is it's uh, also a GPS as well. So it's a, don't get me wrong, it's quite expensive, um, but if you want to improve your game, then you know you buy, you buy what you want to improve on, how, how far you want to improve. So anyway, let's see what I've got in. 
Okay, yeah, so I've got, 100, I've got 180 80 yards in. Now this will probably go 200 on a full swing. So I'm gonna do like a three quarter swing, just get it up there, hopefully get it onto the, onto the green, which I should be able to. Okay, a little bit right of the green, but uh, I'm happy with that. It's up there anyway. Okay guys, I'm excited for this bit now because I'm actually showing you something that's gone new in my bag over the last couple of weeks. Um, I've always, I've, I used to have the Ping G irons and they were fantastic, very forgiving club, uh, very big cavities on the, obviously on the, uh, from like six iron upwards, six, seven iron upwards, uh, very big cavity back, so you've got a lot more distance, but I've, I've currently changed two weeks ago I decided, oh, let's go out testing some new irons, and straight away uh, I tested the the Ping Blueprint. I tested the uh, the Mizuno MP20s, and I used the uh, and I also tested the T100, 200, and 300 of the Titleist. And the best one it came out for for performance, for looks, for uh, forgiveness in a way um, was the T100s. Now the T100, the Titleist T100 is probably the less forgiving club out of the three that they brought out um, uh, about six months ago um, and the T100 is just so beautiful it's a beautiful looking club um, so yeah what I'm going to do I'm going to use a five iron off here so I can obviously use it in order um, <laughs> and obviously we'll see when I get down there I'm going to try and uh, try and get a distance in when I can use one of my wedges so I can show you what wedges I've got in the bag as well so let's see what I can do So as I'm waiting for the green keepers to change the holes for the competition tomorrow, um, I'm going to show you what wedges I've got now. I hit that one there about 190 yards. Uh, I calculated it at. So I've had to hit, a, I've had to hit another wedge. <laughs> so actually, a 54 degree, and I'm actually going to hit another 54 degree. So I've got 98 yards in left. Um, and the, the the wedges that I have, I have two wedges actually in my bag. Well, I have I have the pitching wedge in my iron, the T100. So my T100s, are, which I did mention before, actually go from uh, five up to pitching wedge. And then I have two wedges in my bag. I have a 54 degree and a 58 degree. Um, so I'm going to be using a 54 degree here, and I use the Ping Glide 2.0s. Um, I just feel that they have a milled face, and I just feel that. Um, I just feel like they, they feel great off the club face. Um, they're so soft off the club face as well. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what I can do here. But 98 yards in, like I said. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what I can do. So guys, I just landed just on the green now, which I'm quite happy with. I'm still about 30, 35 foot away, um, so I'm not too happy about it, obviously. But what I did there is obviously I hit my five iron off the tee. I then had to hit another wedge into around 95, 98 yards away from the green, actually. So I've gone five iron wedge, wedge, just to show you my wedge, obviously, all the wedges that I use. Now I'm onto the most important bit of the bag that I believe is the most consistent part of my game, and that is putting. And the putter that I have is the Odyssey Two Ball White Steel. Now you're thinking to yourself, maybe you're thinking, wow, he's got all the other clubs in the bag that are very modern, very up to date, a lot of technology involved in them. Why has he still got a 10, uh, why has he still got probably a 15 year old putter in the bag? And it's because it works. If it works, then I'll keep it in the bag. So yeah, let's see if I can dink this one in anyway. 30, about 35 foot away, I think. So guys, thank you very much for watching that. That is my bag for the 2020 season. 
like I said, our, our season doesn't start probably till February, March time. And what I'm looking to do is try and get in single and, and single figures, hopefully within two months of starting that season. I think I've got the best bag for that now. Uh, I'm not going to be changing anything, if, well, not anything really, to be fair. I've got everything now that I want. Uh, I've got all my yardages in there. Um, the bag that I use, just to quickly tell you, is the Ping Hoofer bag. Um, I also have my name on it as well. People say, why have you got your name on your bag? You're not even professional. You know what? You've only got one life. Life is no trial run. And whatever you can do, do it. If you feel you want to do it, do it. And also the ball that I use, which if I didn't tell you, is a, a Titleist Pro V1. Uh, and the reason why I use that is, it's just because it's a, a consistent ball really. So anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. If you like what you see, please subscribe. It is much appreciated. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.